Hello everyone. So today, I am announcing that this month's speed builds will be dedicated to the Towny Refresh series. Now, if you watched the last video I did, we were in Windenburg. However, this is not Windenburg. I decided for the month of October to do the, what I'm going to call the three dark occults. So we are starting out in the realm of magic world. And I am going to do the Acolytes House and the Charm House here. So next week will be Charm. Then we're going to move over to the Werewolf's World and do the, the One Cabin. There's only one family you can actually play there. So I'm doing the Cabin for one of the Werewolf packs, I guess. I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. I did not look that up before this video because I actually didn't intend to tell you any of this, but you know what? I am. And then after that, of course, we will move to the vampire world and our October build will finish off with a reno of Vlad's home. So I hope you guys don't mind that I went ahead and skipped ahead like this, but I thought it was fitting being that, you know, we had five weeks in October that I would be posting for and, you know, it, we have five families in these packs to build for. So, so this first house is the accolades house and I originally really wanted to make this more of a starter home feel but I started building and just kind of got carried away so it's not a starter home I did try to keep like decorations down a little bit I believe this is just over 50,000 simoleons somewhere between 50 and you know, 60. And I wanted it not to feel like it was a finished home necessarily. Like it still had some decorations you could add to it. I did go back. I'm going to say when I went to take pictures, I realized that I really did forget to put in a couple things that I wanted to. So I went through and redid some of that. Um, but in general, it's not as decorated as the charm home is going to be. So just a heads up there. I didn't, I wanted it to feel like maybe they inherited the house or maybe they're renting the house. I thought some cool gameplay would be if you had for rent is to have the charms buy this house and then rent it out to them. I mean, that might be fun or, you know, one of the other wizards in the area. That might be kind of cool. So, I did struggle a bit with windows and this tower area, as you can see. I, I couldn't make up my mind how I wanted it to look. But, I did look at a home that was similar so that's kind of where I I got my inspiration from really just this very front part and even that like the roofing I did is it's not like that in this inspiration house it's really just the tower and the porch that inspired me there and I really wanted this to kind of have a Victorian but whimsical Feel, so I'm hoping the roof lines kind of pulled that off. As you can see, I tried to put in a chimney, took it out because I didn't like how it looked with the roof line. I wanted that kind of sweeping look on the side. So yeah, fireplace came out 
and I decided not to put one in here at all. So, I also do want to say that this build was done before all the base game update stuff. So, some of those base game items are not in here or, you know, I could have used it like the new archways would have been kind of cool in here. Uh, but I did not use them because I did not have them. Alright, so... The other thing is, I start doing this kitchen... And this is part of the reason this house cost a little more. I started doing this kitchen and realized I had so much space. So I thought it would be kind of fun to just add on a like sunroom area. That's where they have their plants. That's kind of what I'm going for in that 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 room back there so just off the kitchen i thought it'd be great for like you know herbs and things like that so that's what that little room will end up being i believe i pull in the the kitchen a little more later on yeah right there um just to make that room a little bit bigger and as i said it's like a sunroom i didn't design it necessarily as a greenhouse but just more of a sunroom and they decided to keep plants out there instead of, you know, furniture. The other thing that I struggled with uh, was trying to figure out how to make this the cheaper home of the build. So I used a lot of base game only because one, Realm of Magic is a little expensive. And two... The Realm of Magic cabinets don't have upper cabinets, so in both homes, the kitchens are not done using those, but I did use them in the charm home, so yes, I've already recorded it. I've actually already recorded the werewolf home. I managed to get a ton of recording done on my vacation last week. It was great. Which may leave me time to do some bonus videos this month not sure if i'm going to be able to but might um i've got some other projects going on as well that i'm trying to work on but if i get that stuff done and have some extra time you might see a few bonus videos here and there all right so I also struggled a little bit with colors and what I wanted to do. I will say the Realm of Magic pack doesn't have as much as I wish it did in it. It does have a lot of gameplay, so I give them that. And it is a you know a game pack, pack not an expansion. So, so I have to bear that in mind as well. But I got a few things in here. It was okay. Alright, so this room up here, I decided to make their cauldron room, and I thought about putting it downstairs, but I really like the shape of this room, and I wanted the downstairs to have the dining room in this area, so I put it upstairs, and I think it's just a cute little, like, cauldron office space thing, and kind of still fits, fits that vibe of, you know, they don't, they don't have a lot of money. They're, they're just kind of starting out. That's my my goal with them is they're just kind of starting out and figuring out all the, you know, ropes of magic. So maybe this was an office at one point. Maybe this was a bedroom. But they turned it into their cauldron room. And again, struggled quite a bit with trying to figure out like furnishings and all this other stuff because one they were expensive and two I didn't want to use the canopy beds in every single room so base game beds here awesome and 
I, I think it worked. I didn't want to put single beds in either. So that's the only option we had. Again, it, it'd be nice to have, you know, maybe another option. I found that with the werewolf's pack too. They don't have a double bed for the werewolf's pack. That was fun. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> I really do, when I do these tiny refresh builds, I really do try to use as much from the packs as possible. And especially now, considering I you know, was doing three worlds of base game until I did started Windenburg. And that will pick back up in November. Probably after I do... A couple builds for the new expansion pack. Those will be coming after after Halloween because it doesn't release until then. Uh, I might try to put up an extra video that week using with the new pack, but it just depends on what I have going on at that point. Um, if not, it will be the next, you know, that next Tuesday. I know, way ahead of myself, guys. I have been working on, like, my um, budgeting and, you know, planning ahead for things, what I'm doing for, you know, uh, the holidays, all that stuff this morning. So that's where my mindset is right now. Because, yeah, I just did my budget throughout the entire year. And I'm going to say, if you don't have one currently, just, you know... And you're an adult watching this, it's helpful. You need to do it. If you're a kid watching this, when you become an adult, do it. Okay. All right. My my advice time is done now. All right. So as you can see, kind of decorating a little bit here and there. I did do quite a bit upstairs for decoration. Um, I don't know why I just didn't go back and do downstairs like I had planned on. But it, it is more decorated, and you'll see that in the photos. Though, outside, I did add a couple things after I took photos. Um, just because after looking at them when editing this, I just kind of went, yeah, they, they need to be updated. Um, I just didn't go back and retake the photos. It was two things. It was a lamp on a table and a bench outside. So, not... Um, not a big deal. All right. So here in the dining room, I struggled with curtains because, again, I didn't want to overuse the Realm of Magic curtains and things because I knew they were going to go into the charm house. But they also look very opulent, and that was not the vibe I was going for with this. So I did end up Putting in a couple of things, as you can see, from the Realm of Magic that are a little more opulent, but I don't think are crazy. Like, they would make sense that maybe they'd have a couple of these things. Um, this cabinet, I'm just going to say, was came with the house. <laughs> so, that's why it doesn't quite match everything. It came with the house. They left it. All right. So... Here you can see I'm kind of adding a few things here and there, getting, you know, wallpaper up in these areas because for some reason I just, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do right here. So that's why I skipped that area and then went upstairs. Because I was originally thinking maybe I would put a seating area in that sunroom. But then after going upstairs into the cauldron room because I thought I could put some more plants in there. I realized it wasn't going to work, so that's when I decided that would make a great, like, faux greenhouse, you know. If I had a sunroom, I'd be growing plants in it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so now landscaping. Um, I really wanted to add this, this tree from the base game in. It just fit the vibes. I thought this would be a fun little lot to throw that on. I didn't do a whole lot landscaping-wise out here either. Mostly because 
Again, I wanted it to feel like maybe it's a rental, maybe it's, um, you know, they inherited or, you know, they scrounged up the money for it and need to add to it. I didn't want this to be a finished home. So, you know, help with gameplay there. You guys can move in and add, add things to it. So, yeah, I mean, the, the patio has some stuff on it, but nothing too crazy. And I, I like that vibe. That's what I was going for. It's not a fixer upper. It's just a might need a little more that you can customize to whatever you want for your gameplay. All right. So, again, just kind of adding in stuff outside here. I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to put here. So I decided a couple of chairs, the, you know, picnic table, grill, all that stuff. And now I'm just kind of finishing up with a little bit more landscaping and the terrain paint. And we are almost done with this build. Pretty quick one today, but I really enjoyed doing this house. And... And I hope you guys enjoy playing in it. Let me know in the comments below what your opinion is of the Townie Refresh series so far. Are you liking it? I'm enjoying doing it. So, I mean, at this point, my plan is to continue. Um, eventually, I will release it as a world you can download. I'm hoping to go through and do some more builds that involve these packs only so we have other lots that are redone as well but that won't be anytime real soon this is going to take a while to do especially if they keep releasing expansion packs all right so build is over i'm gonna let you guys take a look at the photos and i will be right back All right, so there's the final build. Again, I really enjoyed doing this one, and I hope you guys will download it and play in it and change it up to whatever you would like to have. Um, but make sure, one, to like the video if you did enjoy this build, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I... Hope you also will tune in on Friday for the next episode in our Cult Legacy Challenge. That's been fun. We're doing the Grim event in that. And then, of course, next week's Charm House build. Right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.